Hey, what is up, everybody? Kevin Anson here with thevideocourse.com. I have another lower third lesson for you here today. First off, if you just want to skip to the good stuff and not have to listen to me talk, <laughs> you can always download the project file for this. The link to that is in the description below. The lower third you're seeing on the screen right now is the one we're going to create. Yeah, that's me and my family at a recent trip to Disneyland. We actually live in Southern California and have season passes, so we go there often, which is pretty cool. That's my three-year-old daughter on the left, my amazing wife, Michelle, and our five-year-old son, rocking the long, curly blonde hair. Anyways, this lower third you're seeing, believe it or not, has 16 layers. Now, I'm going to move kind of fast so this lesson doesn't end up being too long for you. Plus, I need to eat a sandwich. <laughs> I'm starving. So let's dive in. All right, so we're going to create a new composition. 1500 by 160. We'll just call this lower third. 10 seconds duration. Good. Hit OK. We're going to go to view, show grid, and view. Oh, snap to grids already turned on. All right, so we're gonna drag our logo out onto the composition here so we can make sure we get our colors correct on our lower third. Layer new shape layer, and we'll make this this yellow color. Right about there. Make a new shape layer. We'll make this sort of an off black color. We'll drag that to about right there. Layer new shape layer. Make this one white. And one last shape layer on the far right there. We're gonna make this yellow actually. All right. Now we're gonna put our logo on top of these layers and we're gonna put a fill on it. Generate fill, white. And make sure we turn on this continuous restoration button right here to make sure that this vector is as clean as possible. We're going to turn off Snap to Grid for now. Drag a mask. So all we need is this part right here of the logo. And we're going to move our anchor point over here so that way when I scale it, it scales from that point. And we're going to put it right there. Okay, and then we're going to duplicate this layer because we need the other parts of the logo. Just the video course part. So we're going to drag a mask over this part here. And we're going to move our anchor point to the center again. Scale it down. Depending on your logo and how your design is, uh, some of these boxes might vary in size, but this is the one that worked out for me. All right, we're gonna turn off the grid and we're gonna type in our text. We're gonna make this white. We're gonna make another text below, change it to black. Type in father of two and sandwich <laughs> connoisseur. I think that's how you spell connoisseur. And I'm gonna change this to Alio just for design reasons. Scale it down a little bit. Probably make it a little bigger actually. All right, our lower third is done. Now it's time to animate it in. One thing I do is I always design the lower third first and animate it second. All right, just to keep things organized, I usually like to name these layers so it doesn't get confusing later. And that will be, that will help us out when we're animating this in. Okay, so first with the yellow square, we're gonna animate this in using a transition called light wipe. And we're gonna take down the intensity of this and we're gonna set the origination point right here. And I know that I need to reverse this transition. And we're going to start it out at 100, set a keyframe, go over 15 frames, and bring it down to about 90. And there we go. So this is what it looks like. And as it's animating up, I want it to reveal this logo here. 
So we're going to drag the logo on top of this yellow square. We're going to duplicate the, the yellow square, put it on top, and then change this um, track mat to alpha mat. So now when it animates in, it reveals the logo. And then we're going to duplicate this yellow square and we're going to make it an off black. So we're going to pick this black here. So that way, when it animates in, as you can see, there's some keyframes here. When it animates in, the black one animate will animate in first and then the yellow one. Just to give it a little bit of flair there. And I think I want to scale this logo up just a tiny bit more. All right, let's see how that looks. Looking good. Okay, so now we're going to animate this box here, the black rectangle. We're going to set our anchor point to the left side here. That way when we scale it up, it scales from that point. I'm going to go over, make this a 20 frame animation. Set it to zero. So now it's going to animate in like this. And we're going to put the old good old easy ease on there. Same thing with this one. We want this black rectangle to reveal the Kevin Anson text. So we're going to duplicate it, put it above Kevin Anson, set Kevin Anson to alpha mat. So now when it animates on, it's going to reveal Kevin Anson. And then I want to give this one a little bit of style too. duplicate this black rectangle, bring it below. And we are going to change the color of this to yellow. And we're going to set it back in time just a little bit. So that way the yellow one comes on first and then the black one. All right, looking good. And then we're going to animate this white bar below. Same thing. Put the anchor point over here. Set a keyframe. Go over 20 frames. Set a keyframe. Go back. Hit zero. So now it's going to animate in. And make sure that we put father of two right above that white rectangle. Duplicate this white rectangle, throw it above, and change that to alpha mat. So now it's going to reveal that text. And then I want this one to have a little bit of flair with it too. So we're going to duplicate this white rectangle, throw it below, change the color to this same black color here and make sure we set it back in time just a little bit. So now it's going to animate in just like that. Looking good. I want that white box below um, with the uh, father of two to kind of animate in a little bit sooner. So we're going to shift click all of these layers and we're going to bring them in just a tad sooner. Right about there. There we go. And then we have to animate in this box over here. So let's see which one we're working with. Yep, this yellow rectangle here. And we are going to do what's called parenting. We're going to parent this layer, this logo, to this yellow rectangle. So that way, whenever this box moves around, it's like it's glued to it, so it moves with it. So we're going to set a position keyframe there. Maybe do 15 frames. And then we're going to slide this guy all the way to here. But we don't want it to look like that. So we actually have to put this layer below everyone else. So that way it comes from behind. And we're also going to chop this layer off right there so it starts at that point. So as soon as that black one hits, boom, that one slides out. And then we're going to do a little easy ease on this guy. So let's see what we got. Looking good. One other thing we're going to do is to give this a little bit of design style is we want this Kevin Anson text to start out yellow and then reveal white. So what we do is first we're going to change this to yellow. And then we're going to duplicate this Kevin Anson layer. Make sure it doesn't have any um, track mats applied to it. So go to no track mat and we're going to make it white. So what's going to happen is, let me turn this off first. As soon as it hits right about there, I say we have it type on white. So let's turn this back on. Go to our effects and presets, type in typewriter. 
Just type in type, it already pops up. Double click on it, it's gonna add it to this layer. Hit U to reveal the keyframes. And all I want this to take like 20 frames to animate on. So as you can see, starts out yellow, and then it's gonna type on white. And that yellow layer is still behind there, so you probably don't want that to look that way. So we're just gonna get rid of that layer right when it's done animating on. So it's we're gonna cut that layer off, so it's gonna disappear. So turns white, and then that yellow one underneath disappears. So let's see what this looks like. All right, that's it. So let's see what it looks like on top of some footage here. We'll create a new composition. And we will drag this picture into the frame, scale it down a bit, and throw our lower third on top. Looks good. So scale it down just a tad. And hit zero and see what we got. All right, and I just realized something I forgot to add to the lower third. So we're gonna jump in here and add this yellow line across the top. So we're gonna go to show grid again, layer new, shape layer, change this to the yellow color, and make sure that our snap to grid is on. And we're gonna drag it right about there. And then we're gonna use the arrow key to kind of bring it up a little bit. And we'll set the anchor point at the beginning again. Scale it. Start it at zero. Go down 20 frames. Put it at 100. We probably want it to come in right about there. Perfect. And let's see how that looks. Maybe want to move my Kevin Anson layers down just a tad. There we go. Looking good. And of course you can scale this thing up and down as you please. And um, when you get this project file, you can of course change the colors, the fonts, add in your own logos, things like that. But this will give you a nice jumping off point to start with. But that is pretty much it. Once again, if you guys want to download this project file, the link to that is in the description. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe. Also, please tell your friends about this channel. We're going to be trying to put up one video per week. So if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like me to make a lesson about, Join our Facebook group and let us know. The link to that group is in the description. Or you can reach out to us on any of our social media channels. The links to those are in the description as well. And of course, if you have a better, faster way of doing any of these things, please share that as well. We'd love to hear it. And we'll see you next time.